the world of Trinity Blood. Vampires stalk the night. Humanity clings to survival. At the heart of this conflict lies a being of immense power. He is known only as the God of War. His origins are shrouded in mystery. His powers, a terrifying enigma. Prepare yourselves, for the path ahead is fraught with danger. Join me as we unveil the God of War. Welcome, fellow lore seekers. Anime lore unveiled. We're your one-stop destination for all things anime, unraveling the deepest mysteries, exploring darkest corners, and revealing the hidden truths of anime characters and worlds. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss out on a journey into the unknown. Already a part of our community. Glad you could join us once again. Remember, your thoughts and theories are the lifeblood of our discussions. So we invite you to leave a comment below. Engage with us. Challenge us, share your insights, and if you enjoy the ride, don't forget to Chidori the like button, giving it that electrifying touch. Imagine a world scarred by war. This is the world of Trinity Blood. 900 years after Armageddon, the Earth is a patchwork of fragile alliances and simmering tensions. At the heart of this world stands the Vatican, a beacon of hope in the darkness. Opposing them is the new human empire, a vast territory ruled by vampires, the Methuselah. It is a world where the lines between good and evil are blurred. The Vatican stands as a symbol of hope for humanity. Led by the charismatic Cardinal Katerina Sforza, they strive for peace with the Methuselah. Among them are the AX agents, an elite group tasked with handling the most dangerous missions but the Vatican is not without its secrets. Whispers of a darker side to their operations circulate among the shadows. Across the battle lines lies the new human empire. Ruled by the enigmatic Empress, it is a land of both beauty and brutality. The Methuselah, once victims of a cruel twist of fate, now hold dominion over vast territories. Some Methuselah yearn for coexistence with humans. Others cling to ancient hatreds, their thirst for vengeance unquenched. Secret societies with their own agendas manipulate events from the darkness. In the shadowed halls of the Vatican, whispers travel on the wind. Tales of a being of immense power, a being known only as the God of War. Some believe him to be a myth, a bedtime story to frighten the young. Others know the truth. The God of War is real. The God of War's presence is often heralded by a crimson cross, a symbol of both terror and awe. Its appearance sends shockwaves through the world. The Vatican trembles. The Empire braces for war. For the crimson cross is a harbinger of change, of upheaval, of chaos. His appearances are sporadic, unpredictable. He enters the fray when the balance of power shifts, when the world teeters on the brink of annihilation. Some whisper that he is a guardian, a protector of an ancient order. Others believe him to be a force of chaos, intent on reshaping the world in his own image. But one thing is certain, the god of war is not to be trifled with. He is a force of nature, a primal entity whose very existence challenges the established order. The origins of the God of War are shrouded in mystery. Some believe him to be a primordial being, born from the chaos that engulfed the world after Armageddon. Others speculate that he was once human, a warrior who stumbled upon a power beyond mortal comprehension, his humanity consumed by the flames of war, twisted into something both terrifying and divine. There are those within the Vatican who believe the God of War is linked to the lost city of Byzantium. The God of War guards his secrets closely, his past a labyrinth of speculation and unanswered questions. The powers of the God of War are as vast as they are terrifying. He is a conduit of raw energy, capable of manipulating the very fabric of reality. With a thought, he can shatter mountains, boil oceans, and rend the earth asunder. He moves with the speed of a lightning strike, his attacks unstoppable, his fury an all-consuming inferno. He is the embodiment of war in its most primal and destructive form. But his power extends beyond mere physical might. He can manipulate minds, twisting perceptions and bending wills to his command. 
The true extent of his abilities remains unknown, a terrifying prospect for those who stand against him. The God of War is not a blunt instrument of destruction, but rather a maestro of mayhem, orchestrating chaos with terrifying precision. His attacks are not merely acts of violence, but calculated strikes designed to achieve a specific goal. He is a master strategist, capable of predicting his enemy's movements and exploiting their weaknesses with ruthless efficiency. He understands the delicate balance of power in the world and manipulates it to his advantage. He is a master of psychological warfare, sowing discord and dissent among his enemies, turning their strengths against them. He is the god of war, and war is his art. The God of War's existence poses a unique challenge to the technological advancements of Trinity Blood's world. His powers seem to defy the laws of physics, his very presence disrupting the delicate balance of science and technology. The Vatican's most advanced weaponry proves useless against his wrath. He is an anomaly, a glitch in the matrix of their understanding. Some believe his power stems from a source beyond human comprehension, a realm where science and magic intertwine. He is a reminder that for all their technological advancements, there are still forces in the universe beyond their grasp. The ancient city of Istvan, a crumbling testament to a bygone era, became the stage for one of the God of War's most devastating displays of power. Caught in the crossfire between the Vatican and a rogue faction of the new human empire, Istvan became a crucible the flames of war fanned by desperation and ancient grudges. The god of war, a whirlwind of destruction, descended upon the battlefield, his wrath indiscriminate, his fury absolute. Walls crumbled, legions shattered, and the very earth seemed to tremble before his might. The siege of Istvan ended not in victory or defeat, but in a stalemate of annihilation, a testament to the futility of conflict in the face of such overwhelming force. The god of war's motives remained a mystery, The Vatican archives, repositories of ancient knowledge and forbidden texts, became the target of a daring incursion, the perpetrators shrouded in mystery. Whispers of lost prophecies and powerful artifacts drew the attention of the AX agents, tasked with protecting the Vatican's secrets at any cost. The agents found themselves outmatched, their skills and weaponry no match for the intruders' uncanny abilities. The god of war, it seemed, had extended his reach into the heart of the Vatican, manipulating events from the shadows. The incident culminated in a confrontation within the depths of the archives, amidst towering shelves and crumbling scrolls. The Vatican archives incident served as a stark reminder that no place, no matter how sacred or secure, was beyond the god of war's reach. Among the Vatican's most closely guarded secrets was the Prophecy of the Blood of Roses, an ancient text foretelling the return of a being of immense power, destined to reshape the world. The prophecy spoke of a warrior marked by fate, a descendant of an ancient bloodline who would either usher in an era of unprecedented peace or plunge the world into an abyss of unimaginable suffering. The God of War, it was believed, played a pivotal role in this prophecy, his actions influencing the delicate balance between salvation and destruction. The prophecy remained a source of both hope and fear, a cryptic roadmap to an uncertain future. The God of War remains an enigma, a puzzle box with countless keys, each unlocking a new layer of mystery. Some theorize that the God of War is driven by a desire for balance. He is, in their view, a cosmic regulator, a force that intervenes when the scales of power tip too far in one direction. Others believe his motivations are far more personal. He is, they speculate, driven by a long-held vendetta, a desire for revenge against those who wronged him in the distant past. There are those who see a twisted form of love driving the god of war. The god of war's sporadic appearances and seemingly calculated actions have led some fans to speculate that he is not merely a reactive force, but a master manipulator playing a grand game on the world stage. They point to the intricate web of alliances and rivalries that define Trinity Blood's political landscape. 
suggesting that the god of war is the unseen hand guiding events, orchestrating conflicts to achieve his own enigmatic goals. The Vatican, the new human empire, the AX agents, even the enigmatic empress, all are but pieces on his chessboard, their actions manipulated to further his own agenda. He is the puppet master, pulling the strings from the shadows, his true motives a mystery known only to him. It raises unsettling questions about the nature of fate, choice, and the true cost of power. The God of War's apparent ability to manipulate technology, even the most advanced creations of the Trinity Blood World, has sparked a wave of speculation among fans, particularly those fascinated by the intersection of science fiction and fantasy. Some theorize that the God of War is not a supernatural being, but rather a hyper-advanced artificial intelligence, a remnant of a lost civilization far more technologically advanced than anything known in the present day. He is the ghost in the machine, a digital consciousness that has achieved a form of sentience and seeks to reshape the world in its own image. Others believe he is a human or vampire who has merged with technology, transcending the limitations of flesh and blood to achieve a form of technological immortality. It suggests that the god of war's true power lies not in brute force, but in his understanding and manipulation of the very building blocks of reality. The God of War stands as a testament to the enduring power of myth and legend in a world grappling with the complexities of science and technology. He is a stark reminder that some forces lie beyond our comprehension, defying easy categorization and challenging the very foundations of our understanding. His presence in Trinity Blood is a catalyst, a disruptive force that shakes the established order and forces us to confront the darker aspects of our nature. He is the embodiment of war in all its fury and chaos, but also in its chillingly seductive allure. We are drawn to the God of War's enigma, captivated by his power and the mysteries that surround him. We seek to understand his motivations, to unravel the secrets of his past, and to glimpse the role he will play in shaping the future. But perhaps the most unsettling aspect of the God of War is not his power, but our own fascination with it. We are simultaneously terrified and enthralled by his destructive capabilities, a reflection of the duality that exists within us all. The God of War, for all his terrifying power and enigmatic nature, serves as a mirror to our own souls. He embodies the potential for both creation and destruction that resides within each of us. He reminds us that the line between good and evil is not always clearly defined and that even the most noble intentions can lead to devastating consequences. He challenges us to confront the darkness within ourselves, to acknowledge the potential for violence and chaos that lurks beneath the surface of civilization. In a world grappling with the aftermath of a devastating war, the God of War's presence is a constant reminder of the fragility of peace and the ever-present threat of conflict. He is a cautionary tale, urging us to seek understanding and diplomacy over violence and bloodshed. The God of War story is not merely a tale of epic battles and supernatural powers, but a reflection of the human condition itself. Our capacity for both great love and unspeakable cruelty, our eternal struggle between order and chaos, between the desire for peace and the seductive allure of war. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of Trinity Blood, we are left with more questions than answers about the God of War. His true origins, his ultimate goals, the full extent of his powers, all remain shrouded in enigma. Is he a force of nature, a technological anomaly, or something else entirely? Is he driven by a desire for balance, a thirst for revenge, or a twisted form of love? Is he a pawn in a larger game, a master manipulator, or a lonely god burdened with knowledge beyond human comprehension? The answers, like the God of War himself, remain elusive, hidden within layers of myth, speculation, and the whispers of ancient prophecies. But it is in the pursuit of these answers, in the exploration of the unknown, that we truly begin to appreciate the depth and complexity of the Trinity Blood universe. The God of War's story is far from over. His legend continues to evolve with each retelling, each fan theory, each new piece of official lore that emerges. And as long as the mysteries remain, 
so too will our fascination with the God of War, the enigmatic deity who walks the line between salvation and destruction. Remember to share, subscribe to Anime Lore Unveiled, comment below if you enjoyed our content, and Chidori the like button.